Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now we all remember the shockwaves that rippled across the globe when the former Suits actress and her royal husband decided to make their grand exit in 2020. But today, we're here to dissect the situation, unveil the truth, and expose the spotlight-hungry saga that is Megxit. Enter Andy Bear, a PR commentator, who has shed light on a crucial aspect of this debacle, communication. According to Bear, better communication could have saved the day, making this exit less controversial and sparing the world from the tinge of sadness that now envelops us. Leaving the royal family, as Prince Harry himself declared, was about protecting his family. But the way they went about it didn't sit well with the royals. Airing family grievances via best-selling books and groundbreaking documentaries was a choice that backfired, especially when it came to the delicate dynamics of the royal family and their advisors. Barr points out the power struggle between the armies of communications and brand advisors employed by both sides. He suggests that a firmer stance, ensuring that neither side aired negative messages in public, could have allowed discussions to occur behind closed doors with more dignity and respect. But the blame doesn't solely rest on Meghan and Harry's shoulders. Barr rightfully notes that the royal family might have taken the never complain, never explain mantra a bit too far. There were inflammatory elements, such as the accusations of a physical altercation between Harry and William, that could have been better handled. Now let's consider the missed opportunities. Royal analyst Bonnie Brownlee paints a vivid picture of what could have been. If Meghan and Harry had stayed in the UK, their influence could have been invaluable, especially among younger generations and in Commonwealth nations. Meghan, in particular, could have been a beacon of change, openness, and fairness. Millennials, a significant demographic, could have resonated with their message, potentially rejuvenating the royal family's popularity. However, the reality we're left with is a far cry from the potential positivity they could have brought. Instead, we're left with a controversial exit, a royal family in disarray, and a global audience left to grapple with the aftermath. The spotlight-hungry nature of Megxit stands exposed, a cautionary tale about the consequences of communication missteps and the lost opportunities for positive change. As we reflect on this saga, one thing remains clear. Better communication could have paved the way for a different outcome. Unfortunately, what we got was a lesson in how not to handle a royal exit, leaving us all wondering what could have been if only they had chosen a different path. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.